a lot of y'all have these shutters and sometimes one of these staples gets pulled out for one reason or another either out of the slat itself or out of the rod okay we've got a missing staple here and then of course we have the missing staple on the on the slat itself I've got two pair of channel locks but on one side normally I do this side here we have to take some duct tape because if not we're using the small one on this side the small channel locks on this side so we have to tear off a bunch of and just keep rolling it and rolling it because we want some we want plenty of padding on our pliers so we don't leave teeth marks on our whoops just got away from me 15 or 20 times but and then of course this is something you can save for later put this on there and then just line this around the around the pliers a few times so it don't fall off make sure it feels good to you alright now we're ready now you can you can put you a piece of cotton or anything in there just to just to keep from you leaving tooth teeth marks on your on your lumber now we just need the staples two staples we're going to put a, a three quarter in here we're going to put a one inch in the uh, slat okay now I've got the two kinds of staples I have the uh, this is a three quarter this is the one inch so take a pair of okay got the staples this is the little three quarter one just get you some wire cutters and catch right in between a couple of them and just squeeze and it'll just pull apart so now you've got one if you if you mess this one up you've got plenty more where this one came from so hang on to these so let's do this one first all right now while you do this okay you see where it came out this is going to be just a these are just a hair bit longer than the ones that probably fell out start them in the same hole push it in as far as you can with your fingers this side of the plier goes on your rod the other one with the with the teeth in it are going to slide on this and then you're just going to push it in okay that's about the same amount or you just kind of look to see if it's about the same amount as the others okay now we've got that one now this is where it's going to get tricky be sure to uh, <laughs> be sure to put it through the eye of the one on the rod just wiggle it in there about as far as you can with your fingers without going too far and don't get too rough with it uh, you can see the difference between the ones I just used and the big ones are channel locks and uh, but you need that wide opening to get on that slat this says RT216 and this is from Crescent alrighty this part you're going to catch in behind the blade and this part here with the teeth is the one where you're going to catch the staple so you have to be very careful when you're doing this now ah. 
Okay, as you can see, I, I bent it. So now we need to straighten it up. This is why you want more than just one staple. See, one side's trying to go in quicker than the other side. And we're going to try it one more time before we have to get the drill out. Yep. We're going to have to drill the holes a little deeper. All right. Okay, this is a this bit's a one sixteenth bit. So you just want to. You want to go in the same holes. Flip that around. Here I'm telling you to be careful and I, I went too far. Just a little touch of little touch of paint. Okay, we've got it started in. Push it in as far as you can with your hand, finger, thumb, whatever. Get our honkers. And again, just take your time. Push that in. Slowly do it. Don't get in a hurry. All right. Oops. And we've got it in there. There it is. Let's say there's one of them broke off in there. Let's say one of the one of the uh, the ends is broke off in there. Well, you, that's going to be real easy to patch that. Just flip it around and get you a staple. And you come up here to this one above it, and you see how it's going to line up against your rail, which you see it's going to line up just like that. But you won't so you come right down here to this one and put you just wiggle it around put you two marks on there one there one over there and then just drill your two holes make sure you go right directly straight in try to keep your uh, slat level so when your drill goes in level it won't come out like it did on when I was using it then, then you just drill your holes and then put that in and then you can go to the other side and just patch those two holes there. But anyway, back to this. Now if you're ever concerned about this ever coming out again, this rapid fuse bonds virtually anything, or excuse me, everything. So. Make sure you got gloves on. Uh, all you want to do is put a drop just on the two ends. You don't want it to. You don't want to get any here on the outside edge of this thing because you don't want to glue your staples together. There's another drop. All right. Now you want to keep it away from everything. You can see how that drop's fixing to fall. And you want to make darn sure you're wearing gloves. Very carefully get it in there and slide it in really quickly. Push that in. However far it needs to go. Uh, that's almost maybe just a touch more. Alrighty. A lot of times when these things pull out, it's because instead of somebody grabbing the rod, they grab a they grab a slat and push them close. That's what sometimes knocks them loose. So if you can just remember to use a rod, because uh, if you do get too rough with them, they will pull out. That's it.